by Narcissist Leave and Never Look Back. Sometimes narcissists leave and never look back because they believe that they can continue to be successful without you. They believe that they can progress without interruption or impediment. Without something to hold them back from doing what they want to do or being who they want to be. And they may lead you to believe that you weren't good enough for them or as though they found something better. But you need to look at the behaviors that you witnessed before they left. Because that's typically what they're going to be doing after they leave. They never look back. Because they felt uncomfortable around you. You may have questioned and confronted them. You may have had all of these standards and expectations things that were deal breakers for you and they don't want to deal with that they want someone who will accept them as they are someone who won't demand or expect for them to change or be better where they can drink alcohol every night and smoke weed and they can treat the other person like a fool a doormat an emotional dumping ground They can go back and forth with them and relish in the chaos and drama because that's what they really want. They thrive in dysfunctional environments with people who they feel more comfortable around. People who know exactly who they are but don't mind because they knew they could never have that with you. You weren't willing to accept them. And maybe you didn't openly reveal that to them. But they constantly read in their victim's body language, facial expressions and tone of voice. To see where they stand with them. To get a gauge on how they should act around you. To test the water. Before they decide to take further action. And your boundaries were just too strong. They couldn't have their way with you. They couldn't get supply. Or it was just too much work. While narcissists don't like to work hard for anything. They'd rather have it easy. They'd rather run off and find an unsuspecting victim who doesn't know what they're about. rather than trying to rekindle things with you again. So in the end they follow the path of least resistance. They move away from pain and towards pleasure. Whatever brings them amusement and enjoyment. Because that's all they're really looking for. Someone who isn't going to judge them. Someone who isn't going to resist them. Someone who is just going to let them be who they choose to be. That is what they are seeking. Someone who will make them feel how they want to feel. Someone who will make them feel powerful and important. Desirable and attractive. Quick-witted and intelligent. Even though they may have never done the work. And they may never have tried to develop themselves or achieve anything. They have this sense of arrogance and entitlement and they see it as though if they're not going to get it from you, they're going to get it from someone else. But it is always the victim who initiates the discard. You saw something wrong with them and now they want to punish you. They want to teach you a lesson by leaving you and never looking back and finding a new source of supply so that they can show you where you went wrong or how you should have treated them because that's all it's really about 
They're just trying to prove a point. They're trying to show you that you were wrong and they were right. Which is why they're just going to continue on their path. For as long as it is benefiting them. But as soon as things start to go wrong. Or they feel like they had a better situation with you. Then they may contemplate hoovering you. Unless they can find a more efficient option. Because if you made it clear to them that you're not going to accept that type of treatment. They're going to know that they can't have their way with you anymore. And just by you setting the boundary. That can be enough to cause a narcissistic injury. Because they don't like to hear the word no. They're very insecure so to compensate for that they're arrogant and entitled. They believe they're better than you. And they should be able to treat you however they choose to. And as long as you're willing to support their delusion they will stick around. Or they will entertain coming back to you. But that's all it's ever going to be. It's never going to be anything real. You're going to be doing all of the work to sustain the illusion. While they're just sitting back feeling like the king or the queen. But if you were constantly pressing them. And trying to make them be better. They're not going to want to go back to that. It's too much work for them to manipulate you all over again. It's much easier for them to find an unsuspecting target. Or someone who is more agreeable and on the same page. Someone who doesn't mind them going out on the weekends. Where they're cheating and sleeping around. Someone who can tolerate their excessive drinking, smoking or doing drugs. Someone who accepts their delusions instead of trying to make them change. Because that's what they really want. They don't want to build anything for real. They already know they're not about that life. They just wanted to trick you so that they can use you for supply. And when you started to catch on they knew that it was time for them to take off. Because they're never going to try to be better for you. They're never going to be who you wanted them to be. Who they led you to believe that they were in the beginning. They're just going to keep doing what they've always done. What worked for them in the past. What got them a the result that they were looking for. And while they may recognize that they were in a better situation with you, a lot of them really don't care. Because they know they're not going to be able to sustain something like that. They know they're just going to be the cause to its demise. And then they will have to start again. So they go where they feel more comfortable. Where they know that people will tolerate and accept them. And they know they're not going to be given a hard time. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me Dark Survivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's Narc Survivor the Credit UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.